We received a case from your guy who wanted to install 9 IP cameras in the system. Usually he can pick up a 16 port PoE switch to connect all his cameras, but his case is a little bit complicated. First, let's take a look at the diagram. There are several cameras with a usual long distance. Camera 3 is 250 meters from the setup spot to the control room, which is about 800 feet. And the camera 1 is 350 meters. There are several cameras with a shorter distance. The camera 6 is 800 meters. The camera 7 is even with longer distance, it's 2.5 kilometers. There's no way to use a copper cable to connect the set camera 7 to the control room. We need to use the fiber optic cable. Now let's demonstrate how we can use one long range PoE switch to connect all these cameras. This is a 24 port long range PoE switch. The PoE ports are divided into three groups. The first eight ports, the last eight port with green label and the middle eight port. First, we need to turn on the CCTV mode. This setup will step down the network speed of the first eight ports to 10 megabit per second. Then we got 250 meter long range PoE from the first eight ports. There's no need to use any extension solution. We can connect this camera equal or less than 250 meter to this first eight port. Now let's pick one of the PoE ports and connect the camera. And connect another end to the camera. It's a strict KFIE Ethernet connection between the PoE switch and the camera. There's no additional device. You may wonder whether 10 megabits per second speed is good enough for an IP camera. No worry, most IP cameras support H.265 compression. 10 megabits per second speed can handle 4K IP cameras. Now we have completed the setup for camera 3 and some camera less than 250 meters. Let's move to the camera 1 with 350 meters and camera 6 with 800 meters. We can't step down the speed to 10 megabit per second to reach 350 meters. We need to use the extender. It's not that complicated. We, we have to put this extender next to the camera. Then working with the PoE port labeled in green inventory, we can have up to 800 meters between this green port and the extenders. How does 800 meters PoE become possible? The long range chipset are built into the last eight ports. That's the reason why we saw the green label on it. The last eight ports can push the data up to 800 meters, which is about 2,600 feet. And the camera is just a regular camera. It can't push the data so far to reach the PoE switch. We need to use the PoE standard. The PoE standard can establish the two-way communication with the long range PoE switch and come up with 800 meters long run PoE. Now let's attach the PoE standard to the wall. Let's pretend this is the long run KFI Ethernet cable. I know it's not. Let's connect one end to this long range port and connect another end to the input port of the PoE standard. And use a short patch code to link the PoE standard to the camera. This is the street KFIE Ethernet cable. The maximum distance between the PoE switch and the PoE standard is 800 meters. We have completed the camera 1 and the camera 6 leave the camera 7, which has 2.5 kilometers from the control room to the camera setup spot. As we mentioned, we cannot use the KFIE or CAT6 Ethernet cable to connect the camera 7 to the control room. It's far beyond 800 meters. We need to use the fiber optic cable. This is the single mode fiber optic cable. We are going to use this cable to connect the camera 7 to the PoE switch. It's convenient for this PoE switch to work with the fiber optic cable. We got one SFP slot, which means the media converter has been built into this PoE switch. But it's empty, we still need one device called SFP transceiver. The SFP transceiver will convert the optical signal to an electrical signal. Now let's insert the SFP transceiver to this SFP slot. But for the camera, it's a little bit complicated. There's no media converter built in, it only accepts the copper connection. That's the reason why we need another device called outdoor media converter. This media converter will convert the optical signal to the electrical signal. 
and we can use a short patch code to link the media converter to the IP camera. First, let me install the SFP transceiver. This is the same one we use in the switch. Let's attach the outdoor media converter to the wall and use this short patch code to link the outdoor media converter to the IP camera. This media, outdoor media converter supports a PoE power over Ethernet. We can use just one power supply unit to power this media converter and the IP camera. This is the outdoor power supply unit. The output is DC 48 volt. I'm going to power this media converter. Right now the media converter is getting the power. There's just one last thing, it's the fiber optic cable. We need to pull the fiber optic cable from the POE switch to the media converter and attach the single mode fiber optic cable to both ends. Now go to the outdoor media converter and attach the fiber optic strand to the outdoor media converter. That's all. Let's review what we have done. We set down the network speed of the first eight ports to handle this camera equal or less than 250 meters. And we use a PoE standard working with this port label in green with the long run chipset built in to come up with 800 meters long run PoE. And the last camera, camera 7, we are using the fiber optic cable. And we didn't send the power from the PoE switch. We are using the local power for the camera 7. We assume the AC power is ready at the camera 7. We can send the power by using the hyper optic, hyper fiber optic cable, but it's a little bit complicated. The one thing we didn't mention is about the power budget. All this camera except for the camera 7 are taking the power from this PoE switch. And the total power budget from this PoE switch is 225 watt. It's your job to consider the power budget is enough to supply all the power for these cameras, including the power loss in light. One thing you need to know is the longer the distance, the more power loss will be. If you are interested in the power budget and power loss, please post a question in the comment section below. We will shoot another video to explain.